All right, so Adobe has once again changed it up on us, and this time they've officially removed the function of Snapshot from the free version. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a couple of options to work around this. The first one, it's one I've shared in previous videos where you can resize your window and you can print the current view. So just to make sure everybody understands I am using the most current, I'm gonna delete and reinstall my software because in previous ones, I've been told repeatedly I'm using the paid version when I was actually not. So when you download it, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you uncheck these boxes. It does not matter which button you click on, it will download the software or the extra software. So make sure you uncheck those and then click whichever button you do you want to install the software and we'll be on the same page. All right, the software is installed. We're going to leave launch selected because I do want to dive right in and here we go. So in the software, I'm gonna, once the software is open, I'm gonna double click on the file that I want to print. As you can see on the left side, normally we'll be able to go to edit, snapshot, and the options here are different. And if you click on one, like crop, it'll pop up the browser to try to get you to do the free trial or a subscription. So we're gonna close the browser, go back into the software. And to do the first workaround, you grab the zoom and scale the window larger like I'm doing here. Or you can just resize your window. I'm going to show you now. Either method you choose, the next step is to click print. Once you get into print, click more options and it will expand and you will see current view. You select that and now your print preview will show you just what is on screen within the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, if you're not doing the four by six and you have a much smaller label, you have to go in much smaller. And on some computers, I'm able to drag on the left side here. I'm not on this one, but we can uh, work around that. And if you need to rotate your PDF, that way you can get a different size because once you drag up from the bottom, it is limited to how small you can get, although you can play with the zoom as well. Either way, once you get it to look the way you want, the process is the same. And if your window's too small to see it, you can always hit Control or Command P. And like before, click More Options, Current View. And just like you can see here, you will be able to print just what you want. This may be useful if you're doing barcodes. All right, and the second option is going to be on the browser. I'll have the link to this in the description of this video, and it should take you to a page like this. Unfortunately, you do have to create a login. This is just a free account, not a free trial, not a subscription or anything that costs you any money. It requires you to enter any card information. Once your page loads, you can drag your file into the box and it will load within the browser. In the browser, you have the option to crop the image and you can see the handles on the side. I recommend just grabbing the top right corner and taking it to the top right corner of your label and the bottom left handle, putting it on the bottom left of your label instead of doing the sides. This is much faster. Once you have that, you can click the crop button on the left and then you can either print from the browser or you can save the document. The option is yours. And obviously if you save it, you can reprint it as much as you want at a later date without needing to crop it again. I will say the first option where you are in the Adobe software, you can basically crop it and then if you have multiple documents click to the next page and it will align the same and it will print each one the alignment will be set up for you already that is a benefit of doing it in the adobe software over the adobe in the browser option if you guys have any questions do let us know we thank you for your comments your subscribes and your likes see you in the next one